Hello and good day. My name is Javes Lumando Bulkirin, 33 years old and a graduate of West Visaya State University with a degree Bachelor in Elementary Education, major in Early Childhood Education. So the age group of my activity is 3 to 6 years old. Hello children! How are you all today? By the way, I am your teacher Javis and I will be teaching you today about comparing sizes. But before we start, do you know the song Small and Big Circle? Yes you do! Wonderful! Now stay with me! Small circle, small circle, small circle, big circle. Here's mama, here's papa, waving goodbye. Six times six, six times six, thirty-six. Six times six, six times six, it's magic. Alright, now, what can you see? Oh! You can see bear? Bear? Yes, it's a bear. And I have here three bears. The small bear, a medium bear, and a big bear. I have a story, what could it be? I have a story, what could it be? I have a story, come look and come see. Come and learn with me. Alright, so before we start our story, I have her first, a star one. Do you want it? Oh yes, you want it. Yes, but if you want it, you need to listen to teacher and answer her questions later on after the storytelling. Will that be fine with you? Yes? Now, let's begin. The title of our story is about Golden Dogs and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there lived a youngster named Goldilocks. One day, she went for a walk in the woods. She found a house and knocked on the door. No one answered, so she walked in. Three bowls of porridge sat on the table. She tasted the porridge from the big bowl. This porridge is too hot, she said. She tasted the porridge from the medium bowl. This porridge is too cold, she said. She tasted the porridge from the small bowl. This porridge is just right, she said, and ate it all. Goldilocks saw the three chairs. She sat in the big chair. This chair is too big, she said. She sat in the medium chair. This chair is still too big, she said. She sat in the small chair. Oh, this chair is just right, she said. Then the chair broke. Oh, fell, she said. Goldilocks was sleepy. She climbed the stairs looking for a bed. She lay down on the big bed. But it was too hard. She lay down on the medium bed, but it was too soft. She lay down on the small bed, and it was just right. The owners of the house returned. They did not like what they saw. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Papa Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Mama Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Baby Bear. And it's all gone. The hungry bears saw their three chairs. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Baby Bear, and it's broken. The hungry and the angry bears went upstairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, 
said Papa Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Baby Bear. And she's still there, Shh, said Goldilocks. When Goldilocks saw the three hungry, angry bears, she jumped out of bed. She ran all the way home. And Goldilocks never again went to the home of the three bears. Now, who do you think is the girl who went for a walk in the woods? Oh yes, it's Goldilocks. And who lives in the woods? Yes, the three bears. We have Baby Bear, who is a small bear, Mama Bear, who is the medium bear, and Papa Bear, who is a big bear? Now, let me ask you, what are the things that Goldilocks saw in the house of the three bears? Yeah, we have the three goats. We have the big goat, the medium goat, and the small goat. Good job! What else? Yes! It's three chairs. We have the small chair, the medium chair, and the big chair. Great job! What else? Oh yes, the three beds. We have a small bed, a medium bed, and a big bed. Great job! Now, I have here some more examples of objects with different sizes. First, we have the big shoe, the medium shoe, and the small shoe. Next, we have the small popcorn, the medium popcorn, and of course, the big popcorn. Next, we have the big ball, the medium ball, and of course, the small ball. Now, I have here three animals. Which animal do you think is a small animal? Is it the cat, the dog, or the cow? Right! The cat is the small animal. And the dog is the medium animal. And of course, the last one is the cow, the big animal among the three. Another example. We have here the rabbit, the sheep, and an elephant. So, among these three animals, which do you think is the small one? Right, the rabbit. How about the medium animal? Correct, the sheep is the medium animal. And of course, the elephant is the big animal. Great job! Now, our last activity is comparing the sizes of vegetables. And now, let's compare the sizes of the following vegetables. We will write number 1 under the small size. We will write number 2 under the medium size. And we will write number 3 under the big size. Okay, so for number 1, which among these three egg ones do you think is the small one? Alright, this one in the middle. So we will write one. Then two and three. Next, for the squash. So here is the small one. So we will write one. Then, this one is the medium one. Two. And the last one is the big one. Wow, well, you all did great today. And because you're very good, each one of you will have this star wand. Alright, so thank you so much for listening. Until next time, bye!